What's up everybody? Uh, Brian here with Voyage RC. Um, this is just going to be a little update video on my review of the Dynamite Passport Ultra Force uh, 200 watt AC-DC charger. Um, I did make a few mistakes in my original review so I'm just going to uh, kind of verify those with you guys and correct them. Um, you can see I'm charging, uh, doing a storage charge on my new Turnigy Nanotech saddle pack. Um, you can hear the fan going in the background. It's pretty loud, but it's moving a lot of air. It keeps this thing nice and cool. Um, the first mistake I made was, I don't know if it was a mistake, but I just didn't clarify it. Um, you can see on the screen here, you can set a temp cutoff and it'll read the internal and external temp. The uh, internal temp right now is 25C or you know 77 degrees Fahrenheit that fans keeping it nice and cool the external temp is an additional sensor that you can purchase and that'll actually go on the battery pack and read the sensor of the battery pack or read the temperature of the battery pack with that additional sensor which runs off the three pin port on the charger um, that is what your temp cutoff is going to be based off of not the reading of the internal temp which is just the temperature of the charger um, the cutoff is solely based off the temperature of the battery with that additional sensor that's kind of a safety reason if you're outside and your pack is heating up a lot you don't want to be running a lot of electricity through it because everybody knows with lipos that can that can cause some damage especially so that's just one of the safety features. I didn't clarify that in the video. Um, but it does read the internal temp of the charger itself and the external temp with an additional sensor purchased separately of the battery. And the battery temperature is what the cutoff is based off of. So I'm going to go ahead and let the storage charge finish on this and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back on the storage charge finished on that other battery, so it's a lot quieter now with that fan off. Um, I just wanted to mention that that 3 pin port I was talking about for the temperature sensor is that guy right on the side there. This one right there. Um, that's where that sensor would plug into. So, anyways, the other mistake, little brain fart I made during the original review video was uh, I was going through the program select screen here and I stupidly said that the PB bat right here was for a life battery um, that's not correct this actually is for charging a lead acid battery which duh anybody knows that PB lead battery so that is for the lead acid battery um, it's also got NICAD NIM and your lipo battery select is going to be for all of your lithium batteries. This will charge uh, lithium polymer, your LiPo, um, also lithium ion and your life batteries. So that selection is under here. Um, kind of you can see on the bottom here. I don't know if it'll focus on the camera or not. Um, below the screen it says LiPo, life, lithium ion, one to six cells. That is going to be your selection for this LiPo battery program select. So all of your lithium batteries are charged under the LiPo battery. Um, thanks for watching guys. I just wanted to do a quick update on that. A um, couple little brain farts, misunderstandings. So I just wanted to clarify that and give you guys a better understanding of this charger. Um, I'm still very impressed with it. It's got really good bang for the buck. It's a 200 watt charger, AC, DC. So It'll charge up to 10 amps and you can do that all day with no problems with the 200 watt power supply. So, great charger, good bang for the buck if you're looking for, you know, not a really super expensive charger but you want the capability to do all this fancy stuff and a higher charge rate. So, good charger, still impressed, thanks for watching, stay tuned.